One of my favorite things about the Bubble platform is how extensible it is. You can connect your app to hundreds, if not thousands of third-party services, either by installing plugins into your app from the plugin marketplace or by creating custom connections with those services via API. The question is, how compatible are these connections and does an API even exist? In this video, we're gonna walk through everything you need to know about figuring out which third-party tools will work with your Bubble app. We're also gonna take a look at several real Bubble applications that were built by our own entrepreneurs that have integrations with popular third-party services so you can see a variety of what's possible to supercharge your features. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is see if the third-party service even offers an API. APIs are how applications can communicate with each other. They can send data back and forth. They can also trigger actions. So for example, if you're integrating with a payment gateway like Stripe, you can either retrieve information from Stripe, like subscription data, customer data, or you can create information on Stripe, like creating an invoice or setting up a new credit card to attach to a customer. Head over to the website of the service that you're looking for and see if you can find any documentation for developers. You'll typically find this in the footer of the general websites, so links to a developer's portal or API guides and references. If this is here, you're off to a good start. And one of the first things you'll start going through is see what requirements they have for accessing their API. Some APIs are free, some of them may require account approval, some may even require a subscription. Now, once you have found that you'll be able to gain access to the API, the next thing you wanna look at is what authentication requirements there are. Every time you make a request to the API from your app, you're gonna to have to provide some sort of an identifier so that the service knows who is making the request. You can think of it like a password. And there's many different types of authentication systems. Bubble supports all of the common methods. Uh, in fact, there are even presets uh, in Bubble's API connection tool. But you do wanna make sure that uh, what the service requires is compatible. If you see references to access tokens, API keys, basic authentication or OAuth2 authentication, those are all very standard and very common with most uh, third-party systems. Now, if you do find references in the documentation around how to authorize requests that involve um, custom encryption of certain values, you may need to involve some custom code. It isn't to say that you can't get it into your Bubble app or that it's not compatible, but you might have a little extra work to do there. And don't forget that Bubble has a vast plugin marketplace. You may actually find that there are one or more plugins already configured to help you connect your app to a popular third-party service. This can make it so that things are much more out of the box and ready to go for you. You may still need to create an API key that is unique to you, uh, but you can put that into your plugin settings. And for a lot of these services, that's all you need to do. You don't need to custom configure anything else. It's gonna depend on the level of complexity and custom Optimization that you want with your integration. Even if a plugin does exist, you may still choose to create your own custom connection so that you have more control. Let's jump into our first app example. This is a financial planning tool built on Bubble that has a big dependency on an integration with Plaid. Plaid is a service that allows you to send financial information to other applications in a very secure way. So this application has its users connecting to their bank accounts with the help of Plaid so that they can pull in transaction data and account balances. From there, the application can do the rest in terms of creating smart budgets and financial plans for them. When it comes to connecting your Bubble app with financial tools, such as payment gateways like PayPal or Stripe, or to bank accounts with a system like Plaid, this is absolutely possible. If you're doing any kind of transactions, subscriptions, checkouts, pulling information from bank accounts, you're going to have an integration and you want to rely on an integration with those financial systems because they're gonna take care of all of the heavy lifting for you in terms of data security. Now, one of the most common categories of third-party systems connecting to Bubble apps is communication tools. You know, typically a Bubble app is part of a larger business operation. So being able to integrate it with the tools you're already using can provide a lot of value. We've personally connected many Bubble applications with tools like ActiveCampaign, ConvertKit, MailChimp, SendGrid, Twilio, Postmark, and so many more. These type of tools can help you subscribe new contacts to your newsletters, help you track your sales lead and all of the steps that they're going through in your sales funnel. 
help you send out your email campaigns at a specific time. You can manage all of these things from your application with API connections. Now, what about multimedia? Does Bubble have any options for working with images and video? Absolutely. And there's actually several options here. Bubble has some native elements for uploading files like images, audio and video, as well as elements to play back those audio files or video or even to view images, even in a manipulated way. You also have many plugin options to help you extend that functionality. You can live stream from your application, you can crop your images, you can edit your video. And one of the most popular types of custom API integrations are generally with storage systems. So there are many platforms out there that are specifically catered to file storage of images, of video. They typically come with a lot of extra tools around manipulating those files. You know, they may have different pricing structures that are more what you're looking for. So again, as long as they offer an API, you should be able to connect to it. Also, real quick before we head any further, I want you to bookmark this page for after this video coachingnocodeapps.com slash bubble hyphen guide. We've put together a pretty exhaustive video and written guide to answer all of your bubble related questions. Head there after this video. I think you'll find it really helpful as you move forward from here. Now let's jump into another app example that does a great job of visualizing its data with charts and graphs. This app is in the healthcare space and it tracks key metrics for its users so that they can gather important insights around their health and make decisions from there. You know, charts and graphs are not necessarily something you want to build from scratch, especially around all of the visual properties, let alone making them interactive. Bubble's plugin marketplace actually offers many different choices for integrating with great visualization tools. There's a lot of things that you can choose from there. And you know, all you have to do is supply it with the data. So it's really a no code system to create beautiful uh, visualizations of data so that users can gather important insights and you can make them highly interactive and really embed them into the rest of your app's functionality. We also saw a few different charts and graphs in the previous app example that did financial tracking to keep track of budgets, net worth, and transactions. Now, what if you're building a scheduling type of tool where you have bookings, appointments, meetings, can you sync with users external calendars uh, to have all that information available in your app? Absolutely you can. When it comes to syncing calendar information, it's mostly about the data. There's many ways to go about this. Of course, there are many plugins that can get you connected to popular calendars like Google Calendar and Outlook. You can also use Bubble's API connector tool to do your own custom integration with an API that's separate. And usually with calendar data, you're gonna be working with webhooks as well. So let's say that a user uh, creates a new event externally on their Google Calendar, you can have Google automatically notify your application so that you can trigger any changes you need in your app. That makes a very automated process really easy for your users. So any kind of scheduling type of tool is very compatible here with Bubble, especially when Bubble is able to handle most of the date manipulation logic in-house. And as a bonus, Bubble actually has a native action in the workflows where you can send meeting requests with dates and times via email. That way, popular email clients can recognize this incoming uh, event invitation and make it easy for the users to add to their own calendars. Next, let's talk about integrating with location services. Bubble actually has a built-in connection to Google location services to help you do things very easily like displaying maps, calculating distances between two locations and extracting information from an address. But you can also extend this functionality with plugins and custom API connections to do even more, such as custom maps with custom markers and route optimization. In fact, our next example is a great showcase of a custom map integration with a third party tool called Scribble Maps. This application is all about walking tours in local areas. And so Scribble Maps allows you to create more custom map displays where you can customize the appearance of all the markers, you can add extra messaging, and just in general, make it easier to follow along on the route. The reason users come to this app is to be able to find easy to follow walking tours. And so the map feature is really at the heart of what makes this app valuable. The types of API connections that we've talked about are really just tip of the iceberg. Every industry is going to have its own set of tools that are common for applications. So check all of the services that 
you currently use to see if they offer an API. You may be surprised at what you can automate with your app. So you can do other things such as connecting to AI tools. You can generate all sorts of files like PDFs, CSVs. You can create shipping labels and track packages. You can get real-time market data and calculate currency exchange rates. You can of course get real-time notifications when events occur in other systems. Those are gonna be through webhooks, which are also a form of API communication. When you're in your bubble editor, don't forget to check the plugin marketplace. You may find a connection that's already set up and ready for you to use just by installing that plugin. If not, you can also use Bubble's API connector tool. This is how you can create custom connections to external APIs. All right, I hope this was helpful. And if it was, the content you're about to see on the next screen will help you take things even further.